my friends, I have terrible news for the Bamboo Lab H2D. They have raised the price once again. And Creality is laughing their ass off. So I posted this video over three weeks ago, Bamboo H2D is only for the rich. You guys laughed at me. You made fun of me. Oh, it's not funny now. Do I have your attention? So this is the second price hike since they released the Bamboo Lab H2D on March 25th. So right now the price is 2700 and this is without tax or shipping. So. Right now, they're not available for you to purchase. They are coming back online uh, April the 22nd in the next couple of days. And I really do not understand why they're so expensive. How, how the, the price went up so high and so fast without justifying it. So yes, yeah, so Bamboo Lab needs to somehow explain to the customer why they raised the price such a high amount in such a short amount of time and i believe the tariff have nothing to do with it it's really just price gouging um i'm sorry to tell you that you guys i told you guys three weeks ago that this product is geared towards the rich it's not really for a go schmo printing in his basement or a novice or somebody just trying to get into 3d printing this is just for someone that has money to burn pretty much because this is just a 3d printer at the end of the day it doesn't really cook for you it doesn't really provide food i mean you could you do a 3d print farm but i don't think this is the type of printer you want to use in a 3d print farm there is a lot of expensive parts involved i think with 3d print farm you need to go with something cheap that you can replace parts because you're printing a lot of crap very cheaply and very fast so you want a lot of printers not one big hunk of printer if that printer breaks you're pretty much out of business until you can get the parts to fix it so this is definitely for someone that has the money to burn this is kind of like a mortgage payment for some of you guys uh, it's a month of rent or mortgage payment for sure so I, I'm not sure where they're going with this and I did see a video from this marketer guy that says how to sell to the rich or sell to the rich I'll play you guys the video in a second the first of principles is sell to rich people that they pay back right and so it is much easier to service fewer customers promise more and have less operational drag to servicing them at a higher price point I'd rather sell 50 people at a thousand bucks a month personally and then do everything I can to make sure that they had an exceptional experience because then I'd have the money to do it and I'd feel like my time was being valued. So I use that as an extreme. They also tend to be more qualified people and you'll also just look like I promise you this if you talk to people who are paying you $500 a month you just you automatically level up your mindset in terms of what how much money exists in the world and so one of the only things that one of the only downsides I see of of starting really, really low ticket is that you're dealing with people who only have $5 and it starts to build some very strong limiting beliefs around money that I hate. The price will also signal to the prospect who this is for. And let me know if this is what the strategy they're going with because this is a really dumb strategy. I think um, 3D printers, they all have the same problem, which is layer lines. There isn't any 3D printer they have a better results from the other one they all print similar to the other to the other and some i mean some print worse some print better but at 2700 i don't think there's going to be a quality that is going to be off the chart it's going to be very similar to what other printers are doing right now in the market quality is decent could be better I also didn't dry the roll. I just took it out of the bag and put it on the printer and I didn't change any of the settings. I just pushed print. It's a little stringy. Unfortunately guys, 
I believe this printer is a little bit overpriced for the features that it has. I think it's just a paper tiger. I think it doesn't have much to it. It's just a big dual nozzle paperweight, basically. I really do not think it's better than the X1 Carbon. I think this printer is all right. I mean, it's a lot slower than the X1 Carbon. Um, just flipping between the two nozzle is like a whole thing. You know, it takes time. It has to go home. It has to wipe the nozzle and then it has to do this flippy thing with the with the gears. I mean, you can only imagine if that gear breaks, you can not flip between nozzles. What will happen then? Do you have to replace the the hot end altogether? It seems like a lot of moving parts and a lot of things can go wrong when you have a lot of moving parts. I don't know, guys. You guys let me know in the comments. Let me know what do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Disagree? Would you guys pick up this printer? I think printing with the two materials, it's a little bit um, gimmicky. I think there is like more fixing than actually do printing. I think there is a lot of adjusting and doing tweaking setting. So this is where you end up doing, you end up doing more tinkering than actually printing. So this is more like a fun toy for the family to use. Even the at the beginning when they did the advertising for it, they had a family. One of them printed a helmet. The other one printed a pair of shoes. And then another member of the family printed a cosplay costume. So this is like a fun tool for the family to use. I don't think it's a serious printer as far as like actual doing some industrial work and some high temperature high flow stuff i think this is just a printer for everybody to enjoy at home i am really interested in hearing what you guys think let me know in the comment am i wrong have i seen something that you guys didn't see i personally thought that it's just it was like underwhelming um i think because it was such a build-up like they they held they held on to this printer for almost two years before they released it and it was just such a like uh, build up to it that it was just very underwhelming um, the release I thought it was just like not enough bite and maybe if it was a little bit cheaper like the, or the original price that they, they had was a little bit too expensive then it was like 2200 and it's just gonna keep climbing as the this whole thing with the terrorists is going on but you guys let me know if I'm wrong on this. Straightforward with me. I, I, I don't mind guys the feedback. And yes, thank you for, guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next one.